Good evening, good afternoon, everyone. I'm very excited to introduce Dr. Hans Christian Zahn, PhD. Uh, he is our speaker today, scientific advisor at Multi Learning Group. Dr. Zahn has spent 25 years in the field of biomedical research. So we welcome you, Dr. Zahn. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you very much for that kind introduction. So today I'm just going to give a brief overview of the role of pH regulation in myocardium. And the predominant protein responsible for this is the sodium proton exchanger um, isoform 1. Now, the sodium proton exchangers are highly regulated glycophosphoproteins that are present in virtually all mammalian cells, tissues, and species studied to date. And the sodium proton exchanger, as I mentioned, is the primary focus for uh, pH regulation in numerous pathophysiological states. And this now brings us to our first poll question. And that is, which pathophysiological states are associated with sodium proton exchanger isoform function? Uh, yes, and as we can see, um, it's actually a bit of a trick question. And I'm happy to see that many people chose the numerous pathophysiological conditions. So as we mentioned, uh, it is you know, pH regulation or hyperactivity is associated with cardiac hypertrophy and congestive heart failure as well as a ischemia preperfusion injury, uh, hypertension. And there is a growing body of evidence to show that overexpression of the sodium proton exchangers and the reduction of intracellular pH is indeed, uh, plays a major role in the transformation of cancer phenotypes. Um, and I guess the last question is, is there evidence of different isoforms of the exchanger playing a role in these disease states? Um, <laughs> that's a good continuation question, yes. <laughs> Um, in that case, we're, we're actually not sure. It is hypothesized that in numerous tissues, there's more than one isoform, uh, uh, you know, exhibiting its function. Um, to date, uh, I don't believe there's been any research to truly show whether the uh, hyperactivation of other isoforms upon the inhibition of NH1 does indeed play this role, but this is an ongoing, uh, <laughs> ongoing research within the field. Okay, perfect. Well, I think uh, that is it for the uh, Q&A chat from the audience. I thank you everyone who gave, who submitted their questions to the audience, from the audience uh, to Dr. Zahn, so very much appreciated. I think we will move on to the chat, uh, to the chat discussion now. So I'll bring that on back to our team who's looking into the chat.